Everybody, it's your girl Mickey Truth, aka Mickey Fats. I hope everybody having a good Sunday. And as y'all saw on my social media, we waking up real early with mess. Okay. And long live take off. So one of the last video they put out, messy. This is definitely messy. Okay. I want to start off by saying, on a personal level, the story I'm about to tell y'all, I think something fishy with it. Not just with the information, okay? I actually think it's not the same person. Like, it's like a catfish or impersonator, okay? I just don't have no evidence, only a hunch. So, I want to put that out there first. But y'all already know what, I'm, what I stand for, the truth, okay? And you can only provide the truth when you have facts to back it up. So, the information I'm about to provide in this video is based off of... A recent interview that was uploaded to YouTube with a alleged witness, okay, um, that said she was in Houston with takeoff at the time of his death and that he communicated with her like he felt like something was going to happen, okay? The identity of the person um, that is saying they're the alleged female witness um, was put into this YouTube channel, and that's what I went off of for my research, okay? So, again, if it comes out to be that the person that was on this interview is not indeed the person picture that is circulating, I only can go off of what was provided, and, you know, that's all I can do in this case. I feel like something is wrong with it, just based off what I found out, but y'all already know, I'm going to come to y'all with the information and the facts about any clickbait stories that I found. Now, y'all know I like to play devil's advocate. Maybe this um, YouTube channel did do some research, just not thoroughly. So maybe they assumed they were talking to the right person. Or maybe the person I end up researching is the person that may be the catfish. I don't know. But, I'm just going to give you what I have and we go from there. Now, I know a lot of you guys have already seen this video. But, y'all know your girl just don't put out anything. I have to get my some facts together before I make a video. So, yes, that's why it's the, a delay into hearing from me. But, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, the clip you are about to hear is from Dirt TV Celebrity Media. Huh? No, I'm not changing. Go to, go to Instagram if you want to read the message. Yes, her page is private. I can't see him. Okay, so boom. You got flew out to Texas. When did you get to Texas? The 28th. Okay, so the 28th. So y'all was all out there. Y'all was just chilling. And you, did you, did you, did you guys go to Fifth Ward together? No, we went separate. He was there first the night I was behind them separate cars he wanted to make sure if something happened to him i wasn't like in the crossfire okay so in regard to him feeling like if something happened to him why would he feel like something was going to happen to him if in the text messages he would always assure you that you know this was family can i ask how many times y'all went to Pitbull while they was out there which discord did you put it in Nisha? i'm putting it in there right now hold on one second okay we only went one time Okay, so they wouldn't just kicking it at Fifth Ward. Like, the only time they really went was to go to the nice game. Yeah. And then listen to the text message. Like, he felt some type of way. That's just, that was the actual, just by her reading that text, I didn't read it myself personally, but what she was saying fits his character. Like, I don't really gamble. I'm ready to go lay down. You know what I mean? That's kind of the mood that he was in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Damn. All right. So I don't mean no harm to this YouTube channel. And I'm not even sure if they're the original ones who did the story. However, I just want to put out there, we don't know takeoff. We don't know what type of mood he was in. And for the most part, unless you was there, we don't know what he was on. To be honest, everything is allegedly. So let me start off by saying that before I start getting into the details. All right, so to start off, um, in the video 
of the clip I just showed, um, on the picture, it has a tag on it, okay? And it says, um, the real Sammy underscore one. So that's how I found the Instagram page. And I verified it was the same, um, page because of the followers and the post amount plus the picture that they posted matches that picture, okay? So, in this profile, it has an email address that says the real Sammy bookings at yahoo.com. So, if y'all take a look, I actually sent a email to that email requesting to speak with her regarding the interview that I um heard on YouTube, okay? And as of today, um, 11.23 a.m. Eastern Time, I have not gotten a response from her from that email address in regards to the situation or in regards to anything. So everything here is alleged. I don't know if that's the real person or not. Um, I don't know what this email goes to. I just know I sent an email to um, speak with her in regards to this. Okay, y'all? Now, Truth Team, y'all already know, Mickey, um, Truth, Mickey Facts, not going to just sit here and go off of what another um, blogger or YouTube page is saying. And I'm not going to sit around and wait for the alleged witness to uh, respond to me. I'm going to dig, whether I had talked to her or not. So, I started digging, of course. Um, a few of my Truth Team members um, was helping me out on this, so shout out to y'all. Um... And it's interesting some of the stuff we found. And once I start providing it to you, you'll probably come up with the same conclusion that I came up with that I stated at the beginning of the video about not knowing if the alleged witness in the video for the interview and the alleged woman in the picture is actually the same person. So let's get into it and go from there. And I actually, I'm going to go ahead and put another clip of the interview in this um, video, um, just so everybody can have an understanding of the type of information the alleged witness is stating that she has um, regarding the night or the um, time surrounding the incident that happened at the bowling alley that took the life of Takeoff. So I'm going to go ahead and play the clip. After that, we'll get into it. Let me know something. Uh, how many people beat Quavo out of some money? Like, like one or two. And again, yeah. So, just in case there are any that... All right, so let's get into it now. So, again, this is the alleged woman who is allegedly the person speaking on this interview, on this YouTube channel, okay? I do not know where they found her from or what. Just going off what was provided, all right? So, first thing I did, after I sent the email, and after I sent a request to get on the Instagram page, and it still hasn't been accepted, FYI, I decided to start looking other places, okay? Of course, I can't tell y'all all my tools that I use to look up information, but, you know, you figure it out, and you let me know, all right? So... It brought me to a person named Samantha Rose, okay? I plugged that name into um, Instagram first. Didn't get anything. So, I plugged it into Facebook. And I screen recorded um, me going through the pictures, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all why, in my opinion, this is the alleged woman that's in the picture now. Like I said, I can't tell you if that's her talking, but at least the picture that they posted, I believe this is the same woman. So first thing I did was definitely jump in her DM, okay? <laughs> I let her know, just like I did in the email I sent to the email that was on the Instagram page, let her know who I am, what I'm doing, and all that. I highlighted a portion of the message to let y'all know like how I come at people when I do reach out to them. I let them know, like, I'm transparent. I'm letting you know, like, I'm going to go with the story, whether you hit me back or not. Because a lot of people don't like to talk to media, especially small media, because I am a small base um, platform. 
However, y'all already know my my content speak. My content speaks value. Okay, so I went ahead, sent the message, let her know I'm running with it today. Either way, okay. So once I saw that this may be the girl in the picture, I went to take off. Long live take off. I went to his Instagram page just to see if they're following each other. So I can confirm based at that time, the Instagram page, the real Sammy underscore one is a follower on takeoff's page. However, takeoff's page is not following her. That could mean nothing. That could mean a lot. I mean, I don't know how rappers or whatever, if they follow Every chick that they allegedly is flowing out or flying out, you know, however you want to say it. Um, but it's interesting to me, though, something else that I found on her page. And again, her p Facebook page, and this is the alleged woman that's in the interview, is public because I'm not friends with her on Facebook. OK, so I can see this just anybody looking this name up okay so it's public i like to preach that out and say that out and scream that out because a lot of and i'm gonna be real my haters be like oh where you find this information they're putting it out themselves come on if you put it out there it's for the public just like if you put your trash can to the road it's public property like, I don't know how else to say that to you. Okay, anyway, that's my little rant for this morning. Now, on her Facebook page, alleged, this is the alleged person, Um, you see some screenshots or some photos that she put on her page stating she's married, okay? And it's a picture of this guy, okay? Multiple pictures of this guy. And they look like they could be married. They could be in a relationship. They're definitely not kin on the level like a brother or a sister or something like that because they kiss, okay? So I find that interesting, okay? Because if you are telling the truth and you are the person that um, you claim to be and you did get flew out to be with Takeoff, where was your husband? And what did he think about you being... Out and about in Houston with a rapper, allegedly. I'm just saying. Like I said, it's messy. Because if this um witness is really who she says she is, hmm, I don't know. It might be some um some issues over there in Maryland. And one of the screenshots y'all can see on there, she says she's happily married. I don't know if happy wives take um offers to be flewed out to Houston. I'm just saying, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about that part. So I'm going to continue on with the other information. So on this um, same Facebook page, it's a post on there from October 10th. That's the last post publicly that can be seen. And it says people still in packages on base now and a laughing face emoji. OK, so I don't know what y'all think of when y'all hear the word base, but I think of the military. So that took me back to a picture that I saw in her gallery when I first was trying to confirm if I could find a picture from the interview, okay? And indeed, it does show the alleged um, woman that's in that picture on that interview in military uniform, a U.S. Army military uniform at that. So I did, you know, some more public research and I connected the person that's allegedly Samantha Rose to a military base, um, Lewis McCord, okay? I don't know if she is still active, okay? But based off her post on Facebook, she speaks of the military a lot, okay? A lot. So I don't know if she's still active, but however, Samantha Rose at least is a military either... She's associated somehow with the military, okay? What I've gotten from all this information is that Samantha Rose Facebook includes the picture of the real Sammy underscore one, okay? So, if they are indeed the same person, then she is a married woman and she's in the military, okay? 
Again, I don't know if the woman that's talking on that interview is this person. And again, maybe this person is just the catfish and not Samantha Rose. I don't know. Okay. However, I did reach out to a few of the people I saw interacting with the Facebook page. Okay. And as of now, I have not gotten a reply back. But I'm not going to put their messages on there because, you know, they don't have nothing directly to do with it from what I can see. And one of the people that I reached out to actually has her same last name. Now, I am not going to release Samantha Rose's last name just because I don't know, really. I'm not confident in who is who right now. So I'm not going to do her like that, you know. I'm going to get a little more details before I put a last name out there like that. Um... But basically what I said, I told them who I am. And y'all know I refer to myself as a research blogger because I'm going to do the research. Um, I basically said, during my research, I came across an interview with a alleged witness named Sammy. This woman alleges she was in town with Takeoff. This information brought me to a Facebook page, Samantha Rose. This is the reason I'm contacting you. I noticed that you interact with this page of the alleged witness. Can you contact me so I can ask you a few questions? Thank you. And that's all I put, you know, because really, I just want to, can you confirm Samantha Rose is this woman in this picture? Can you tell me if she is married? Can you tell me if she's the type that's into rappers? You know, I don't know. Like I, and a sidebar, if somebody know how to look up tags, like, if somebody tag you in, like, a status, a picture on Instagram, can you look that up? Because I still want to know if she even tagged. Like, because she said in the interview, the alleged witness, the real Sammy underscore one, that that's how she contacted Takeoff, by tagging him in something. So, I kind of want to wanna see if that's true. And if you are already friends with this profile, look it up for me. Come on, Truth Team, because we got to break this. Because I can't confirm... This story is shaky all around, okay? And it's just like, I don't know. Um, even if you're the YouTube channel that I reference, if you got some text messages, like, really? Hey, send them my way. Let me take a look at it, you know? So, let me look. Let's work on this together because I just don't know. It, it's, I can't confirm that that witness is who she says she is. I can't confirm anything about that story and that's kind of puzzling because it's like, if you are indeed Samantha Rose, right? And you are a military um, veteran or military, active military, and you are married. And from what I saw on the picture, I'm not sure what's wrong with her alleged husband, but he's on a walker. Okay, so I don't know, like, why would you be flying out to Houston to be with a rapper you met, you know, off of the Internet? And from what she says in the um, interview, she was out there since October 28th. So you was out there for some de a couple of days, you know. So I don't know. It just don't add up. It just don't add up again. Y'all, I said at the beginning, something's not right with. The person talking and the person in the picture, like something ain't right. It could be the person that I found, Samantha Rose, is an impersonator. Or it could be the woman that's talking on the interview is the impersonator. I don't know yet, but you best believe I'm going to figure it out. So, um, Miss The Real Sammy underscore one, if you listen to this video or if somebody that know her is listening, tell her to get at me. Because I'm going to continue to research it. Because it, once I get that little, that little click in the back of my mind, like, hmm, I got to find out. I got to. It's 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 done posted. I just saw on um not Instagram, YouTube. More people is posting the um the interview. So I need to know because if what you are saying is true, that sheds a whole nother light on the situation. Now, I didn't really play the parts where it went into, like, her saying info about what Takeoff allegedly was telling her as far as who was having an issue and all that and who was in charge of what because I got to confirm you who you say you are. You need to send me, like, we need to see 
the plane ticket. Like, we need to see all that. Like, to be real, and that's just me. Truth team, and I know y'all with me. Everybody else may take people word, nah, I need to see your, iten- your flight itinerary. I need to see a hotel receipt. Um, I'm pretty sure if you was with him for some days, you got some pictures. I need to see your pictures. I need to see the text message. I need to be able to verify this phone number is the phone number. Like, I need verification, okay? Because you're saying some stuff. And a lot of us have been feeling some of the things, like, maybe was off. But I don't know. And I'm going to say this. In that interview, y'all go back and listen to it. She mentions Quavo. And, you know... I've said it before, I, don't, I feel for him because of what he went through. Um, and I ain't going to take too lightly too much of people referring or allegedly putting stuff on him as far as that night without proof. Because I need to see proof before I put anything on a grieving person, like for real. And that's not saying she put anything on him, but y'all go, li- y'all go listen to the interview and y'all tell me what y'all got from it okay but as far as mickey truth take on it it's shaky okay that's what i can confirm um i can confirm if sammy the real sammy underscore one is indeed the person in that picture on instagram on that instagram um profile i can confirm that picture is also on a facebook page titled samantha rose okay and i can confirm if samantha rose is actually that person in the picture that is on the facebook page and instagram she is a married woman okay she is either a military veteran or active military okay as of october 10th 2022 she is referenced allegedly to be attached to Lewis McCord military base. That's what I can confirm in that order. Okay. Again, it's some shakiness. So I'm not sure exactly ugh, like if the, I just don't know. I don't know if the person talking is this person. So y'all can quote me on what I just confirmed. But anything outside of that, y'all, I can't confirm right now. But I'm still working on it. So stay tuned. If I get any um, replies to my emails, I'm definitely going to do another video. Because y'all know I like to keep y'all in the loop on real deal facts. So for now, I'm going to close out because I got so much stuff I'm working on, including this situation.